To diagram the structures draining into the nasal cavity, we start by drawing a simple right triangle, and then we add three horizontal lines depicting the three concha found in the nose. On the third and most superior line, you continue posteriorly behind the triangle and arc back around to give you your sphenoid sinus. Now, this is representing the lateral wall of the nasal cavity with the concha sort of cut off so that you can see all the drainage points on the most lateral wall of the nasal cavity. This out here would be where the septal cartilage would be and the front of the nose, something along those lines. So, to finish the jovicogram off, we need to add two little arcs like this in the middle meatus, and this gives us our ethmoid bulla and our semiluter hiatus. And it's worth pointing out that this portion right here would represent the uncinate process of the ethmoid bone, which contribute, contributes to the bottom arc of the semilunar hiatus. We can now add our structures. We have our sphenoid sinus draining into the area above the superior concha, which is known as the sphenoethmoid recess. We then have one drainage point in the superior meatus beneath the superior concha and this will be for our posterior ethmoid sinus. In the middle meatus, below the middle concha, we have our middle ethmoid sinus draining onto the ethmoid bulla. We have our maxillary sinus draining into the middle part of the semilunar hiatus. And we have our frontal sinus and our anterior ethmoid sinus draining via the infundibulum into the anterior portion of the semilunar hiatus. And finally, in the inferior meatus, below the inferior concha, we have the opening and drainage of our nasolacrimal duct. So to go over everything once again, I'm gonna to go to a prepared image. We have our structures and our image right here. And here we have our labels. So again, we have our sphenoid sinus would be right here. The pituitary fossa would be somewhere right around there. We have our sphenoid sinus draining into the sphenoethmoid recess. We have our posterior ethmoid sinus draining into the superior meatus, our middle ethmoid sinus draining onto the ethmoid bulla, our maxillary sinus draining into the semilunar hiatus, and our frontal and anterior ethmoid sinuses draining into the anterior part of the semilunar hiatus. And finally, the nasolacrimal duct in the inferior meatus. So you can see, you can draw this out pretty quick we just have simple right triangle, one, two, three, and then we have one, one, semilunar hiatus, one, one, two, and our nasal lacrimal. This is a bit sloppy, but on a practical or on an exam, or if you draw this out a few times, you will be able to picture it pretty quickly in your head, and it will at least help you spatially figure out what drains where.